planner friends welcome back to beloved plans my channel today today I'm going to be planning in my horizontal classic planner um, I'm going to be planning for the week of July 14th sorry through the 21st um, and I've been doing my pre-planning here with my little post-its um, so I want to just tell you guys about that quick I have this little dashboard of post-it notes in the front of my planner and I like to use those to map out um, just kind of what I have going on throughout the upcoming week before I do my planning and I just put them on each page noting appointments anything important that is coming up so for this week's spread I'm going to be using this gorgeous simply lovely sticker book that I've been dying to use for a little while now I'm going to be doing the color July challenge from Dasha plans again um, and using the sticker book primarily so let's get started Most weeks I have most of my stickers planned out ahead of time and have them on a blank sticker sheet. Um, but this week I didn't do that ahead of time because I wanted to give you a little bit of insight into just how I flip through the sticker books when I'm trying to figure out my weekly plan. I know for me when I watch other um, videos, it's I like seeing them flip through because I like to kind of understand their thought process as they're going through and planning out their week. So I hope you find that's helpful this week. So as you can see, I did uh, go to another sticker book and this is the Color Story sticker book and I decided to go more with a um, black, white, and gold theme actually just because I like to have a little bit of color in my spreads every week so I thought adding the gold would be a fun play on that. And the Color Story sticker book had a bunch of really pretty black and gold stickers so I did incorporate a few from that book as well.
right, so I'm just about finished here. I did realize that the playoffs um, little section that I put on Tuesday actually needed to go on Monday. So in the final uh, layout photo here that you'll see, um, I did end up moving it and kind of shifting things around accordingly. So hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you're not yet a subscriber, um, please be sure to subscribe and click that thumbs up button if you like the video.